Hello, this is John Melville here. From time to time, we need to have a look at the file associations in Windows 7. For example, when we go to um, Windows Explorer, and if we have a look here at these files, you'll see there are no extensions, and so we really don't know what they are. Also, you'll find that from time to time, we need to change our uh, file extension or program associated with that particular extension. For example, a .doc file or a .doc file is associated usually with Word, Microsoft Word. A .txt file is associated with a text editor, which is a bit more um, simple and slightly easier to use than Word itself is. But from time to time we'll want to change the program associated with a file, particularly if we're dealing with photographs. So the JPEG file or the JPG or JPEG file um, can be associated with several different kinds of um, program. So if we just have a double click on here and I'll just show you what I mean. I'll just um, come down to here and let us uh, let us just do that click, double click, and it will open in a text editor, which of course is way over this other side of my screen, and I'll just drag it back, and there it is. Okay, it's a text editor. It is Notepad, a very simple uh, text editor that comes with um, with Windows itself. I don't like using this particular text editor. I want to change it. You may also have a JPEG file, which uh, is a little wee JPG file there. Uh, you may wish to open it in another program, such as GIMP, or one of the other simpler ones, such as Inkster. Inkscape, I should say, not Inkster, but never mind. That little shortcut. So I'll just close that out. But before we can do that, we need to know what the file extensions are, and we need to be able to show them. So. Let's show the file ex extensions in this particular folder so we can identify what the file is before we actually proceed with um, changing it. Okay, so let's just have a look. The first thing we do is we can come up to Tools. If I click on Tools, and I'll just do that, and click on Folder Options, we will get that window coming up there and we will click on view so I'll just do that okay let's just close that for now I'll cancel that the other way of doing it if this toolbar across the top which is up here is not showing then we come down to organize and click organize and come all the way down to here and we find we've got folder and search options so if I click on that you'll find that this window opens just the same as the other window but it's a different route and sometimes the toolbar up the top doesn't show so let us click on view and it takes you through to this window here and you'll see there is a thing called advanced settings just here now if we come down here we will find a little box which is ticked and beside it it says hide extensions for known file types okay at the moment we've hidden them what I really want to do is to unhide them and if I click OK you can click apply if you like but OK will do all by itself so let's click OK and you see over here it is shown that's a text file down here we have a text file okay so we now know that this file is a text file and if I double click on it again let's just uh, come down here and we shall have a look at that which is nothing it's just a whole lot of text which I copied in from a web form generator but it is shown up in notepad I don't want it to be in notepad I want it to show up in notepad double plus because I think that's a superior program and I like it a little better so I'll close that down and that's the first step in changing a file association you must identify the file with which you want to associate the program in this case it's a text file 
and in the next video we'll show you how to change the association so all I have to do now is, is stop the video